What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Zeke for a time, hey, and we're back for today. I'm going to talk about Ant Man. So, if you have not seen the movie, please get going. This is a reaction, this is a review. So, first off, I'm going to talk about the movie. The movie was pretty dope. As I was watching the movie, I was getting a lot of Star Wars vibes and Ben 10 Army Trick vibes. And as I talk to my boys about it and I see reviews and such and such, the consensus is it's a bunch of Star Wars vibes. And it makes sense. I mean, Disney is Star Wars and Disney is Marvel. It was pretty dope watching that go down there. Got a lot of that in it. Okay, we got to that. Well, I can lie though, I did miss the first five minutes of the film. I was a little late. You know how that go, man. It's, it is what it is. Okay, so I missed the first five. I then got started on um. The, everybody's talking about the daughter Cassie and how she communicates with the quantum realm. I guess she made a contraption. She's communicating with the quantum realm. Da, 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 da. And you got. Michelle Pfeiffer's character, she's paranoid, tripping already. She's like, you guys tell me about this? She's having a little panic attack. She's going through or whatever. So then as the movie goes on, right, we get them in the quantum room. We meet a bunch of new characters. My boy, I forget his name, a little red goop joint. I forget his name, but he was fire. I'm not going to lie. I was my guy. He blasted, um, poured in the mouth with the goop stuff. They're like, drink the goop, drink the goop. So you can understand the language. He's like, I can understand you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Ant Man was genuinely funny. Like you see, you you guys seen Thor, right? Thor was trash. They tried too much. But you know Paul is a naturally funny guy. Like he's a comedian. You know, you know how that go. It was hilarious in the film. A lot of funny scenes. I was laughing for sure. Alright. Then we see Modoc, bro. I mean, Modoc is for you. It's, it's all depends on your taste. You're either gonna be really mad when you see him, or you're gonna start dying laughing. Modoc is legit comedic relief. That's it. He's there for comedy purposes. Do not take Modoc seriously, bro. I seen him. I thought instantly George Lopez, Shock Boy, Lava Girl. I couldn't believe it. I could, but then again, it's Marvel. Like I mean. It is what it is, man. It's Marvel for you. I saw that. I, Bro, he had his mask off way too long in that film, bro. Way too long. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, for real? Is what we're doing? I was so disturbed looking at Modoc, bro. He served his purpose, though. He's a hee-hee-ha-ha -ha moment. I got, a, I got a good laughing about that. Then Kang. So, this is how I felt about Kang leading up to the film. I thought he was going to be a savage. I thought he was going to be on 10. And going into the movie, I felt at least one person had to die. That was just me. That's how I felt. One person had to die, right? All right. So, we get to Kang. We see him. So, I think before we see him, Janet Van Dyme is talking to the family about him or whatever. About how, like, he slaughtered civilizations. Like, obviously, he came to conquer. He destroyed worlds, da 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 But he's trapped in the quantum realm because his time thing stopped working. And then Janet Van Dyne and him helped build it back together. But then she touched his vehicle and she saw all that he's done. So she destroyed it. She threw the pin particles on it, whatever. Got it. So we see that, whatever. So we get more build up on Kang, right? And then when we see Kang, he has Ant Man and the daughter Cassie locked up in prison, right? Then he's controlling people. He got shorty choked out, Star Wars style, Darth Vader vibes. Got homie choked out, going crazy. And we're like, okay, like I'm saying, okay, we're going somewhere, all right? And Kang ain't nothing to play with. And then Morda comes in and he's like, hold up, you too, do, do not walk in the room when I'm talking, doing my business, man. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, King. 
You are on 10. I'm elated. Let's work. I was dying though, so that happens, right? Ant Man is gonna he's gonna drop Ant Man. Ant Man's gonna talk about not like another thing I might do. They're like, how are you gonna size up the man that just almost took your life? That's beyond me. Okay, so you I'm souped. <laughs> Kang, let's go. So we keep going, right? Film goes on the Oh, hold up. Wasp's hairdo is trash. She fell off. I used to think Wasp was bad. I'm not going to lie. I thought she was bad at one point. That hairstyle I'm doing, no justice. She looked bad. She looked bad for real. I was on the Wasp pipe train. I need to hit no down. So the movie goes on. And he has Ant-Man look for his doohickey. Da -da -da -da. And then. Then my other side. Hank Pym, Janet Van Dyne, and. Wasp, they're looking forward to a destroyer or whatever, so he doesn't get it. They're all on a separate path, so they But then, him and Wasp meet up in the little area. It's mad funny, though. My boy, Paul Ward, is in a Baskin Robbins uniform. Like, that scene just hilarious. Y'all gotta watch the movie. I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna lie. The movie, my eyes was good until a certain point. We're gonna get to that point. I was laughing throughout the whole film. He ha ha. Like, that was hilarious. Yeah. So then... They save the day or whatever. They have the little climactic thing. They get the doohickey. And then Amos like, no, I gotta give it to Kang. He has my daughter hostage or whatever. And they're like, no, you can't do it. Da, da, da. And Kang pulls up. Everybody pulls up. Have like that mini scuffle. Like Kang proves his dominance. It looks like everything's lost. Hope's all lost, right? I mean, there's obviously parts I skimmed over, but I'm not gonna give you the whole summary. People still haven't seen the movie. There's people. There's people that's gonna watch this even that haven't watched the movie. So I'm going with the parts that stuck stood out to me. All right. Oh yeah, we're gonna go back more. This is another reason why I felt the way I felt throughout the whole movie. Like they was getting on Michelle Pfeiffer's character. They're just talking about how oh she like betrayed us. Oh how could you do this? Like you helped Kang at one point. Da, da, da. So I'm thinking, all right, like. Someone has to die for a like the stakes are a little too high for just no one to die and Kang's a savage, right? All right, so we hear all the stuff about her like Ant-Man and Cassie They're talking to the villagers or whatever. They're like, you know her? She shouldn't be here. That adds more to what I'm thinking, right? All right, so we're going with the film So they have a look the little battle Kang takes what he needs. He's about to Time travel back and destroy more worlds. That's what it's looking like up at this point, right? Everything looks lost. And then Hank Pym, he has his little earpiece and he doesn't know what's going on, but then he finally figures out it was his aunts that were communicating with him. Because before the quantum thing happened, um, Hank, his aunts, they was there with him, but he didn't know where they went at that point. So if the aunts come back, they built whole civilizations, blah, 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 blah. Like these ants are savage. These are some ants, Hulk style ants, Bruce Banner, Bruce Banner brain ants, but Hulk, Hulk strength ants for real. Mob deep, they pull up. They're, now they're building up their battle plan for what's gonna happen, right? All right, Kang, he's chilling. Like light is good. He's souped. I'm gonna go back to doing my thing, man. And then we got a climactic. Oh yeah, by the way. I mean, I'm pretty sure you figured this out, but Ant Man's daughter Cassie, she got her own suit too. She's crime fighting. Da 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 da. All right, whole family's in the gang. Whole family's in the mix now. And Ant Man's having his little struggle. He wants to stay out the way. That's another thing too in the film. He wants to stay out the way while the daughter and everybody else wants to, you know, fight for justice and whatnot. Like as they go to the quantum realm, Ant Man's like, "Oh, it's like this isn't really my fight." And Cassie's like, you serious? Like, come on, you let me down, Dad. So there's that there's that element in the film too. So then we get to the climactic battle. Everybody pulls up, storms the capital or whatever where Kang's at. Everybody storming the villagers. There, there was some savage other characters too, but side characters. I don't know Shorty's name, but she had a little stab. She was scrapping for show. We had Buddy with the I don't know how to describe his head. It was like a weapon for real. Lasers. 
He was he was on ten too. He wanted to torture people from off the rip. He wanted to torture Paul right in the door off the rip. Like let's torture him. So he was on ten too. Everybody like, all right, we ain't gonna win this. We're deep. We have everybody with us. All right, storm in the Capitol, whatever. Hank Swing is like, what's going on? So they're doing damage. It looks like for a little bit, right? Then Mordok pulls up. Kang pulls up. Mordok's fan Cassie. As I'm watching it, like Mordok has the upper hand at first, and I'm like, bro, like this dude's fodder, clearly. So then you know what happens after that. Yeah, that happens. Bro. Kang pulls up. He's smoking people off rip. One tap. Ping, 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 ping. He was. He was. A... I'm, I'm sitting there like these. Yes, sir. Let's go. So Kang's doing his thing, right? Did I even skip over a scene? No, I think that's still yeah, it's still on horizon. So he's one tapping dudes. It's a, the village are like, yo, retreat, retreat, because they know who Kang is. So they're retreating, running back, right? So then they go back to Cassie and Morda. They have a little battle. That it seems like more us, he has upper hand, right? He's too busy chatting. Like, dude, shut up and confirm the kill. He's chatting. Then you see Ant Man pull up, giant size. Like, yeah. You thought it was done? He pulls up, he's wreaking havoc. Da da da. Then Cassie gets the upper hand on Modoc. Modoc's a cornball. And they had like this little scene. It was, it was fine, Mark, on live. She's like, bro, just stop. Like, stop being a dick. And he's sitting there like, yeah, but it's too late. If I was laughing, I'm not. Like, it was funny, but I'm just like, bro, like, come on. Let's get to the real stuff. Sorry, Ant-Man pulls up. Wasp pulls up. Bye, right, squad here. Kang's still doing his thing, getting busy. And there's the battle between Ant-Man, Kang, Wasp. The other ones, they're straight fodder, clearly. You know how that goes. The ant man, he pulls up, he got a few good looks, good licks, and he went giant. Hit that boy with the mush. Get up on that wall. Mm -hmm. I was like, hold up, boy. And Kang was getting busy. I was soup. But ant man, he was on his thing too. So I was like, okay, like this is what I wanna see. This is a superhero film. Like, let me see, let me see what the villain's on. Let me see what the heroes are on. Let's get right. So we had a little scene. Ant Man got a few good looks of a Kang. He was superior. Then the ants pull up. Hank pulls up. Mob like these ants was on ten savages. Ants pull up getting busy. Like they set it up. Like as the film goes on, you realize that Kang's not supposed to win. Like the way they set it up. Kang's not even on the attack. He's been sitting there in a force field now. Like before he was pew pew pew. Now he's defense mode. He's like, all right, like these ants is tripping, defense mode. As time goes on, the ants, the ants are too much for him. They stampede him, da 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 da. It's like, all right, it's for the win, the coon. And another thing, like I get it, like my my cousin keeps telling me, like with the whole film, Kang, he he was kind of sad, and he was down and out, but still like. Kang captures Jane and Van Dyne, right? He captures her. But then, as time goes on, he's like, like it's time to destroy people, right? He leaves his laggies to her. And like, you know laggies are nothing, bro. So, Jane and Van Dyne goes crazy. She escapes again. I'm like, bro, what is Kang doing? Like, you have to kill, in my eyes, like, you have to kill at least someone. You're Kang. You're the big bad of this phase, bro. What are you doing? That, that, so that's one thing I didn't like. I didn't like that scene. He leaves his laggies to her. She escapes. And then we have the scene, like I said, the ants, they stampede him. Seems like everything's going good. He gets up again. I forget what happens. I think he gets back on the offensive. I forget. But... Oh yeah, they destroy his thing again. They destroy his um chair again. It's time to have a thing, whatever. They get back on the offensive. The heroes are like, you know, they're doing their thing. I forget how the events lead up. I seen this Friday. What's today? Today's Tuesday. So I seen about the, I seen a Friday. So I seen it about four days ago. A little rusty. I'll definitely watch it again. 
So there's another scene down down the line. Kang pulls up again. It's Ant, it's just Ant Man this time. Everybody's going back home now. Yeah, everybody's going back home. I forget how it transpires, but all right. So look at here's one right. Hang goes in the thing. Jenna Van Dyne goes back. Um, and Wasp goes back. And the daughter, I already said the daughter already, but yeah, she goes back. It's like there was a one, right? And Kang. It comes Kang. He's like, I'm not finished yet. And this is another thing. I was like, somebody got it. Now. Kang got hands. Like, I, I get it. He's just regular without his suits and stuff, I guess. Mm, I do some more research. That's what my cousin was telling me. All right, whatever. Kang was getting busy. Kang was getting... Mm-mm. And, like, the way the movie orchestrated it, it obviously was meant to be, like, Kang is superior. Like, his hits on a more forceful. He was getting good hits. This is another thing I did not like about the film. So, Kang's doing his thing, right? He's sizing him up. Bangs on Ant-Man. His helmet cracks. He falls, right? Kang hits my boy with the... Helmet is broken, bro. The helmet's broke off, right? And he stops again. He whips it. Ant-Man gets back up, but he's a little woozy. Ant-Man got some good hits in now. But the whole fight is just Kang dominating, buddy. He's dominating him like, I thought Ant-Man would die for real. He's getting good licks in. Ant-Man's like, ah. And then, um... Kang telling him, like, this could all have been avoided. You should have just gave me what I needed. Then Wallace pulls up. He's my boy with the blasters. <laughs> then Ant-Man comes in for the finishing blow. This nigga got zapped away. I don't know what that was, but he's like, <laughs> he's gone. I guess he's dead. Now I'm sitting here heated, bro. By the time of the movie, I was heated. I wanted to yell out, this shit is ass. I was sick at that point, bro. I'm like, ain't no way. So Kang is dead for real. Kang didn't confirm no kills. They're like, oh, he killed some of those little side. Bro, it's Kang. He's the villain of phase five. You have to kill somebody in this film, bro. So the movie goes on. Everything's back to normal. They're back home, then you see Ant-Man, he's reflecting. And he's like, this ended too good. He's like, Kang said, if he didn't let him escape, things were going to get worse or whatever. That's another thing, Kang was telling him, he was letting him know, like, things are getting going to get worse. Like, obviously, Kang's a conqueror. He was going to keep conquering, but he said he was going to leave them alone. He told Janet Van Dyne. She was going to leave them alone. She was going to destroy more worlds. And I was like, no, they're like, you can't do that. So Ant-Man's reflecting. And he's like, he said, da 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 And all right, post credit scene. They're having a cake for Cassie. And he's like, it's on my birthday. It's like, oh, I'm making them lost time or whatever. And then we get the post. We get the end scene. Then we see a bunch of Kangs. Like a country filled with Kangs uh, because we know Kang is time travel so this Kang in this film he was exiled these Kangs exiled him they wanted to be the ones to kill them so they had a little talk like oh I know you're saying he wasn't when I killed him like he's dead then they're like hey like we got a slide for him now and yeah they're up next a bunch of Kangs and it makes sense. They're time travel, so it's going to be a bunch of them. And after we've seen that, can't get smoked. We know, like, it's going to be more to make it a good fight. We're going to have a bunch of them. And I guess at each one has different abilities. Da, 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 da. So then we see that post credit scene. Then after that one, we see the TBA, Loki. We see Loki, the other dude, I forget his name. Then we see another Kang, Frederick Douglass. In the building, do your research. You're know Frederick Douglass is back history month. Learn your history, man. We got Kang Frederick Douglass style. He's talking, and Loki's like, That's him. Because if you see Loki season one, you know what's going on a little bit. Then that's that. The movie's done. So, my overall take on the film is 
It's okay. I personally thought the movie was good up until the end. That's in my eyes. I thought the movie was good. Like, I had a good laugh. I was engaged. I thought it was good. Until, you know, I gave you my opinion. Everyone's opinion is different. I can see why you like this film. This film was good. Until I saw what I saw. I can see if you did like this film. I get that too. So, like, Wakanda Forever is way better than this film. Way better. Wakanda Forever is fire. I'm going to give Wakanda Forever a 9 out of 10. That movie was a great film. I'm not going to lie. It was a great movie. Fight scenes were fire. I didn't get bored. Like, that's a good movie. I'm going to watch it again right now. Ant-Man, Watch Contamania, I might give it a... Six and a half. Not gonna lie, six and a half. I can see if you gave it an eight. I can see if you gave it a five. Like, I get either or. But like, I, I let y'all know why I feel the way I feel, man. Kang, man. You went outside. And Modoc was just comic relief. I couldn't believe what I was looking at, bro. Yeah, the Star Wars vibes was very prevalent in this film. Star Wars out for sure. It makes a lot of sense, but yeah, she boy Z for all time here. Back with another reaction, review. You know how that go. So, yeah, she boy Z for all time here, man. Go.